Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today with more Common Rider 01! You guys, I am really excited to be watching today. If you're joining me early, you know what it means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much, and as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. So we've had a pretty crazy last couple of episodes on Zero One. We found out some big, big stuff. Um, so Naki is like inhabiting Fuwa and being controlled by Guy. Um... I found it really interesting that Jin and Hirobi are kind of clashing now because I thought I kind of saw that like a few episodes like they weren't really on board. They weren't really like on the same page anymore. But Hirobi seems to really, Hirobi is really following the arc like by the book. Um, and the arc says that there's something to be gained from Naki being maybe a little bit more malleable inside Fuwa. Um, but the arc was created by Guy, so it makes you wonder if, like, even Hirobi, is he being controlled by Guy to a degree, maybe, like, a little bit less directly? Um, or do the arc and, and Zai's interests just happen to kind of coincide in this one instance? I don't know. Um, but watching Fua come to grips with, um, like of all people, of all people for this to happen to him, because he had such a thing about human gears, and it was great watching him work through that and figure out, like, it's not really necessarily human gears that he hates, you know, like instead of fighting for that, he's going to fight for his dream now. And he protected Izu. Oh my God. When Guy was about to scrap Izu, oh no. Uh-uh. Not gonna happen. Not on my watch. <laughs> I don't think so. But no, he protected her. He, I feel like Fua got through to Yua a little bit, too. Um, we know they had the pact going way back, but, like, he said he was sopper if she ever got out of line, and he followed through. Um, I feel like she is a lot more aware of like not wanting to be controlled and I'm hoping maybe she will like get free of Guy somehow. I feel really bad for her now because um she she's just I mean I know she hates being called this but like she really has been used like a pawn in this. Um and we saw like at the beginning of the series she didn't she she believed that human gears could be used for good and everything, you know? Um so you know there is a part of her that, like, and we, we've kind of known this all, like, all along, that there's part of her that's really, really not on board with the stuff that Zai is doing. Um, but, unfortunately, Guy is now in charge of Hiden, which, um, boy, I... I, I don't even know if I can stomach, like, some of the stuff he's going to do. I feel like he's going to scrap a lot of human gears, like, right off the bat. Maybe it won't get to that. Maybe maybe Aruto can still get back in there in time. But, I mean, like, Aruto's out now. Like, that's... It's, unless he had, like, some massive thing up his sleeve this whole time. But I think this next chapter, because we knew at the, at the end of the last episode, they were like, okay, a new chapter is beginning now. I think the new chapter is going to be about him getting the company back and saving the Hema Gears. But I don't know, like, how long it's going to take or if, um, you know how many casualties are going to be. Because, I mean, Guy's pretty much got his mind made up. Like, he wants to get rid of the human gears. I don't know what his, like, massive... We know that, like, he's afraid they're going to take over humanity and stuff. But he perpetuated so much of that. And it seems like he really did it to create a, a profitable market for his, like, weapons and, like, response to that. So I don't even know if he really feels that way. I think he was just creating a problem that his company could solve so he could make money. So, I mean, I don't even know what his driving force is now. I'm just, I'm real dumb with him, guys. I will be, I'll tell you what, if they manage to bring this around and he ends up on our side, that better be one heck of a story. I mean, like, 
the, the like put your writer's hat on and just get to work because that is not going to be easy. And I think you could like from what I hear, you guys are real like in agreement with me that like guy is like, nah. I mean, he's a great villain. Don't get me wrong. He's, it's not like the character's bad, but like he is very hateable. Um, so uh, yeah. So I guess we're gonna focus on that next. Um, so. We have all these, like, different opposing, you know, we have, like, Jin's got his agenda, Hirobi's got, Hirobi and the Ark have their agenda, Guy, we know, has been pulling the strings literally on, like, you and Fua for a while, but now Fua, thank God, has broken free of that, and I, I, if I had to guess, I'd say he's gonna help, he's gonna help Aruto, um, but, oh, yeah, I almost forgot, Fua got a massive power up last time, and it is gorgeous, it is beautiful, and that was such an epic scene. So I don't know how I, I managed to get this far without mentioning that, but I really, really love it. So, all right, guys, what do you say we start the new chapter of Zero One? Are you ready? Should we progress with the story? I say yes. Let's go. That was so good. I can't tell you how happy I am to see a win for our crew. Um, let me start at the beginning because I really feel like Jin needs to team up with Aruto. I get why he um, feels like, no, it's still not it's still not okay if they're just tools or if they're just, you know, property of your company or whatever. And I get what he's saying, but at the same time, Aruto does not see things that way. Like, as far as he's concerned, they're like his employees, but they're not, they are people to him. Um, and particularly now that he has his own company, I think you're going to see more and more evidence of that. Um, so I'm really hoping for a team up between Jin and Aruto. I really am. Um, I feel like Jin's noticing. He's noticing a lot. Um, Hirobi, I guess, is just still... He's just going by the book with the Ark. But I would love to have him on board, too. I say get them all on board. Get everyone on board. Fu is on board now. And just take down Zaya. That would make me so happy. Um, I love, love, love that there was a clause built in that all the human gears technically belong to Aruto. Um, Guy really got served up some justice in this one, and it was sweet. It was so sweet. Um, after last episode, um, it was just great to have a couple of scenes of, of Guy being, like, all beaten up and his suit all dirty and having the rug pulled out from under him about the whole human gears thing when he was really hoping to just, like, kill them all. And yes, I say kill because they are very obviously people. They are be they are like living beings. Like can we stop with the with with saying otherwise? Um even Fua. Like I'm so glad he finally realized like this wasn't the fault of human gears. It was the fault of humans that corrupted human gears. Um and and were pulling all the strings the whole time. Um so we had a couple scares in there because we definitely had a scare with Aruto. I really thought, I really thought maybe they'd have to like bring him back as a human gear. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain if that was the case, although I wouldn't want to see him die. But um, I'm like, oh my god, they shot Aruto! <laughs> I love that he got all of them out and he had them in his uh, jacket, and that the one that saved him was a security guard from way back that back when. Um, I love it. I love it. So Izu has reached her singularity point now. Um, and I, I, I love that Jin saw that she still chose to be with Aruto. You know, it's not that she's being forced to. And I love that Aruto was like, you don't have to stick with me. You don't have to, like, you should, you should do what you want. You know, like, he really does. He's not just, he, his only agenda here is just to protect human gears. And, and protect everyone, but human gears, like, equally, you know? Um, so I feel like we're, we're definitely, that was definitely moving to, like, a better spot than where we were. Oh my god, when Jin came in with Izu. I just love Jin. He is 
hard to not love. He really is. I felt that way from the beginning. And his character is so different now. Like, he's not bouncy anymore, but I just, I do, I love him. I really do. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait for the team up. I know it's coming. I really feel like it's coming. And I can't wait. So, all right, guys. Where do we go from here? Seems like we're, we're building up this new company. We're... We're saving the human gears. Um, it's happening a lot more quickly than I thought. I really thought maybe we we're going to have to go through a lot of sad, like losing a ton of human gears before we got to this point. But whew, I'm so glad. See, seeing them get thrown in the dumpster was enough for me. Um, I would not want to see them all get scrapped or a bunch of them get scrapped before they could come in and save them or whatever. So, oh yeah, and I feel like Yua, I feel like Fua is getting through to her. I feel like it's just little by little, like we saw her hesitate when she said the word tool, you know? Like it's not going to happen all at once. She's she's going to have, he's going to break it down. He's going to wear her down like over, over time. Hopefully not too much time though. Um, all right, guys. Boy, it's a great new chapter we started. I'm close to being caught up now and close to being current. I think this weekend, episode 36 is premiering, and this was episode 30. Now I'm about to go watch 31, so I'm like, I'm getting close. I'm closing in on it, you guys. I can't wait. Um, all right, let's see what happens next. I'm so excited to watch more, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time, and we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.